Welcome to Maintainer's Garage. I'm Bags. Today we're going to be working on our 2004 LX470 100 series Toyota Land Cruiser, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some of these lights have never worked since I've owned the vehicle. And what I mean by the lights is the uh, rear defrost, the rear uh, HVAC control, and the window are the uh, side view mirrors uh, defrost buttons. When you turn the headlights on, parking lights on, it's supposed to backlight. Uh, I'll insert some footage here because it's dark out as I can get it in here right now. When you turn the headlights uh, to parking lights or headlights on, you see stuff, uh, this backlights, this is supposed to be backlit. All of us. It, it has never worked since the day I've owned the vehicle. You saw these three lights working and I tried to fix these lights the same way I'm about to fix these and that failed miserably and I had to replace this whole little panel right here but that video will be somewhere linked in there and uh, anyway we've got a whole bunch of tiny little light bulbs that I ordered from the internet and I'll give you the specs uh, down there probably in a t uh, top pin comment I'll put the part number and where I got these from. Uh, thanks, Internets, for helping me figure that out. Somebody else on the uh, I Hate Mud forum uh, had figured out the actual part number and where to order the light bulbs, and they're fairly cheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off. And I know you see this open space here. I know. Don't be jelly. It's only been four and a half years I haven't fixed it. But I can grab it from the side here. We have a plastic removal tool. You can just push down and pull and you will be able to eventually pop this right out. And same with this side. And boom, it's out. You've got a connector here. You just push down this little tab and pull it out same here push down pull out and we're out now we've got this off of here now we've got to get this out and this comes as one giant assembly along with this so you can just grab this and that will come right out set that over here grab that and that will come out and then these are 10 millimeter bolts and then this will come out and, and yeah you can just take all these uh, bolts out all right last one and much like the uh, contactor repair I did on this MFD this is it's a tedious job don't be scared of it I can do it anybody can do this you can do this um, so then you grab this whole assembly and pull it out with the 7,000 connectors behind it. And what you're looking for is, uh, hopefully you can see that. There's one screw there and another one on the other side. If I remember correctly, I believe they're 8 millimeter. And I got these handy dandy little stubby ratchets as a Christmas gift. God bless you. Uh, Sean, thank you. Yep, 8 millimeter. And... Ah, make sure you put these screws someplace you can't drop and lose them. And just like that side on this side, there's another uh, eight millimeter. So you've got this one connector to this, and then you've got the same thing here, and then it goes to right here. So if you can push down and pull out that little tab right there on this sheet metal, small flathead or a pick, get down in there pull that out that'll come right out these if you can just squeeze them with a pair of pliers they'll come right out we'll do this uh, connector first like I said got a little pick um, you can see that connector's got a little tab right there you pull up on it just slightly and it will slide it will slide I said it will slide right out and when that comes off 
you can take your pliers and grab that little device there, squeeze and push, and then that will come off. Same thing back here, just grab, squeeze, and uh, come right through, grab, squeeze, and why you know come through? And come right through, and now this thing is totally separated these latches go in these holes up here and you can just set that back in and it'll support itself. Now we can go inside and disassemble this thing. So we've got our uh, panel console, whatever you want to call it here, and we've got to take it apart. Uh, screw there, uh, similar looking Phillips head screw there. I've just, I've got this down just to really uh, keep some contrast with the camera and in case any little thing might pop off and fall hopefully these old microfiber towels will catch it and I won't have to spend 30 minutes you know wandering around the garage trying to find this stuff and we're gonna set these screws in a place where hopefully I don't you know throw them into the unknown all right oh I missed one one more screw right, uh, just, yeah, just under there. Like I said, I've tried this job before and I broke uh, the, my hazard uh, panel, literally. I broke it and had to replace it. So I learned in that you've got to go super slow and be real easy when you take all this stuff apart. All right, so... There is a, there's a connector in the middle there. See in there, that's the connector. I don't see any locking tabs. I believe this will just pull right out. And it does. So that just pulled straight out. Yeah, that pulled straight out of there. And so this is a circuit card. We don't really need that, so we can just put that off to the side. And now we need to get into this. More Phillips head screws. And it's okay to be scared of this stuff. Uh, fear is good when it comes to this kind of repair because it'll help you make sure you're not screwing anything up but it's not so scary that you can't do it all right let's see uh, uh, yeah. and then just that little leg right there there's there was a leg down there and a, a leg on this side and this little leg is just kind of you can just see it you just gotta pull it out straight out there we go. And this in a light. Well, let me see. This goes in this way. Huh. Apparently, we're missing a light here. And this was, uh, I just, that was just slightly popped out. If you just push it back down, there's little locking legs on the back of this. So, yeah, this little light bulb, there is no little light bulb here. Huh. Well, we can fix that, I think, maybe. All right, so we've got this. We will put that under here. You know, when you start working on things, if you ever work on something and it just doesn't work out, any part you can save. Um, try to i know it makes you a pack rat like me but what happens is is when you find yourself in a situation like this where you're missing a bulb so because you're missing this bulb you don't have this green uh cover for it what do you do well when i disassembled my uh hazard lights 
and I destroyed this little brown plastic piece and I destroyed that thing and I had to order a new one, I took the green little covers off the bulbs. I've got an extra two covers now that I'm going to put right back where I got them from and I marked them with what exactly it is. So then when I find, when I'm going through my cabinet of crap and I grab that bag and it's like, oh, like the screen lights. So again, being a hoarder pays off. As you can see, there's multiple ones here. I'm changing all these lights. And the one here that is missing a light, I'm gonna install one. Whichever one of these uh, in editing that works out has the best view and I can show you clearly again on uh, two different examples of how to do this that's what you're going to see you're not going to see all four of these you don't need to see that that little green thing is literally a little cover this little brown portion here is what will just literally pop right off of there there are two prong metal prongs sticking up vertically one one on that end and one on that end and that will slide out then what happens is and the only reason i can tell you this with any certainty is again i tried this on that other panel and foobarred it so the bulbs um, have these really long legs and they're just standard uh, bulbs they are not leds so these really long legs th there you go yeah those legs are actually going to go inside of this little brown insert, fold up, come around, and you're going to have to trim them. You, if you don't have one of these little screwdrivers, you can go to Ollie's, Bargain Barn, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, General, whatever. You can get these. These are just cheap. If you don't have those, you can use a pair of pliers on these. I'm just going to tell you, this plastic is brittle and old. It will crumble if you squeeze it too hard. That's why I'm using this. We're going to take our uh, little flathead screwdriver. We're going to get here and leverage up and then use this side, leverage up, then come turn the circuit card, leverage up, leverage up. And it, we're just going to be gentle. If you just keep kind of picking at it, if I can get it in frame, you'll eventually get under there. It'll just catch and lift up a little bit. And just be gentle. Patience pays. Just every time you get a little frustrated, whatever job you're doing, however much money you're saving by not paying somebody to do it, that's, that's why patience pays you. There we go. I got it. There we go. So, however you got to think about it to put your patient hat on and just completely take your time, do that. And it might even come on the camera. Yeah, you can see I put a slight uh, gouge right there. That's totally okay. And we'll just keep lifting and prying and lifting and working one end, one side, other side. Come on. Didn't bend that other one. I'm trying my best not to bend this one. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I'm going to bend this leg. Ah. Ah. And I bent that leg and shot that thing and oh hell. All right. Nobody move. You can see the two little legs. That's where that metal post slides. That's where the other metal post slides into. And we'll just grab uh, this little green condom and just you can work it from the bottom and pull up. And if the light pulls out, that's totally fine. Just try not to destroy our light cover. And ah, did I? I think I, well, maybe not. Nope, I did not. Okay. It just pulled up really hard on one side. I didn't destroy that. Nope. Okay. So we've got that. 
And we'll put that off to the side. And now we'll get our little screwdriver and get in frame and just bend up on that, bend up on this one, and once I get that bent up, come on, we can pull it out completely. Yep, you can pull the light bulb out. Nah. Bulb there, our new bulb, and uh-oh, uh our new bulb is slightly larger. Um, it may not fit. I hope it's going to fit. I may have ordered the wrong thing. We will see if it'll fit down in here. Do it. We're left with our hole for our light bulb and the two holes for the legs. And we'll get another one. And I ordered 20 of these light bulbs. Uh, number one, uh, there's other ones in the car I need to change. Number two, I didn't know how many I was gonna damage uh, in process. They were cheap, uh, so it was worth it to me to do it that way. All right, we've trimmed up, uh, yeah, we've trimmed up the legs. And we're going to try to get them straight and fairly close together to when we get this uh, little housing deal and we go upside down. Yeah, just got to get those a little bit closer together because these holes are really close together. And just kind of fiddle fart around until Eureka, we're in there. Put that all the way, hold that upside down get that bulb fully seated in that housing, grab that wire, pull pretty firmly, get it in that channel. Same thing with the other side, grab and pull it firmly and get that in that channel. And then we will get our uh, little pliers and trim that leg. Get our pliers again, and trim this leg. And now we've got our little light. We bent that slightly. We'll push that one in just a little bit. We'll make sure that these two, uh, yeah, that that end and this other end are lining up with this before we start really pressing down. And, yep, yep, see how it's starting right there? And then we'll just finish and just press, just be gentle and boom, it's all the way in. And now we've got our little condom to put on. And if you can't see, there's a little ridge uh, there. Yep, a little ridge there and just grab it and just kind of push it all the way down and just kind of keep working it until you think it's all the way down so that's on there as far as it's going to go and you can see that come here give me that the end here is flush with this card. There's a there's an air gap under there where the wires are, and then that ends flush. Now this I'm just going to test fit this because that bulb sticks out a little further. Now it doesn't stick out. That bulb sticks out further than it did, but it doesn't stick this far out. And I just have to make sure that this works. This, so that little blue tip goes there. That black housing goes there so that you have this giant open space. So the slightly larger light bulb is not a problem. What I'm doing is I'm getting ready to go just connect these ends to the truck and check that this light works. Uh, I'll, I'll use my little camera, you'll see that. And then we'll come back and keep going if all that works. All right, so we've just plugged our uh, connector in, our big white connector over here. Uh, 
in. And if we, when we turn the lights on, if our light works, it will come on. Hey, look at that. Success. Now to change the rest of this and put all this back together. So now we're ready to put this back together. We're going to put this together first before we attach our uh, wiring. These little black tabs go inside of there. So it goes like that. There's a little leg right here. Let's see. There's a leg right there. And then it'll slot there. And you can see that that leg on the circuit card is there. And then that little slot is right there. So you can just kind of line that up, slide it in. Same thing over here. And boom. It's got to go all the way flush against this. It has to be, and when I say flush, I'm sorry, I meant recessed. This entire edge, this green circuit card, has to be recessed below this ABS plastic. And then there's our uh, little fast one we took out earlier. We can start it. Same thing there. Those other threes hold this one into the other one. And you can just snug this down. And this, that didn't work out too bad. It would be interesting to see if all three of them worked. I only checked the, the first one like I showed you in the video. And once that worked, I was like, to heck with it. We're changing all of them. We're all going to find out together if they work. Now, I will, uh, before I put the entire console back together, I will just hook it up like I did and just double check it that way. And then this, as we talked about it earlier, um, when you look at that, you can see you can see the pins. That's why I call them an opening. There's pins on one side. It is completely uh, filled in on the other. There's our little uh, connector. When you're holding it like this with a connector on the bottom, those openings go in. So those openings face up with the connector on the bottom. When you start putting the connector man in just do your best to ensure that might work to ensure that it's all the way like flat and in when you start pushing it won't take a lot of effort but it will take both ends being pushed you can either push from the both ends or the center and boom and you can see it's fully seated there. And now we can take this and just like that, take our three little fasteners, kind of start this one, don't go too far. Same thing with the other one on the other end. The one there that we kind of forgot. And if it starts cross threading, back it up. Ah, come on. Back it out. There we go. There we go. And it's just snug. It doesn't have to be gorilla tight. All right, so that's good. Uh, press the buttons, make sure they still kind of work. Yep. All right, now we've got to move everything out of the garage and uh, bring the, van the truck back in. <laughs> and that's all back together. We've got our fasters. Hopefully this will work well. We're just going to pull this out enough to get to this connector that was on the back side. This is the one that was uh, secured there. We had to use the pick to pick off and it will power up these hopefully when we turn everything on. So we'll just kind of pull this out slightly, gently, get to this, hopefully the plug you can see there dangling, uh, connect it up. Uh, connect it up the correct way and I am assuming it's going to be dark enough in here that we're going to be able to see this. It is so bright in here I can't tell if it's working or not. All right now hold on. Let's... Okay it is for sure. Um, that one works. Let me see. 
Yeah, that one works. Yeah. So when I get this together, I'll make sure I, if I have to build a tent inside of here, you'll see it. But just know that, hey, this worked. Um, I'm going to show you how to put all this back together. It's really simple. Anyway, all right, so now we'll disconnect this, pinch that, pull that, and try to get all of this back together with hopefully a clear picture for you. Uh, some of this stuff is very hard for me to set, figure out how to set the camera up and everything. So this uh, metal tab right here is where that uh, where this plug was on it has to go inside this hole here first and go through and then when you get it around there we go and then you can spin it and you can take it and that little tab as you push it will come on there we go and now it's locked in now you can also reconnect it again boom by the way watch all this metal the sheet metal is pretty sharp on the edges it, it will bite you there is a little locking tab right there hopefully you can see that that goes right in that hole and now these go in here. These two on the ends go in the upper oblong holes. These circular holes are for the 10 millimeter bolts. So you put that in, snap that in, put this other one, snap it in. Now you get your two eight millimeter fasteners and support this and reattach your uh, console here right on the end of this is a tab that goes into that lower hole then this eight millimeter fastener goes in there it's the same on both sides it's identical and like I said easy peasy ignore the giant wire bomb behind here everything's fine now we will Get this fastener started. Hopefully. Yep. Get our other 8mm fastener. Get it started. Once it's started, snug them down. Just remember, you want tools and car stuff for Christmas and your birthday? Find links, send it to people. Works wonders. Gap there is level. We're in here, they're both snug. What we are going to have to do is pull this out just a little bit. All of our wiring back here, this wire bomb, you just got to make sure it's a little up and out of the way. These tabs up here, there's tab there, two there, and one there. They all line up very well, and boom. And then just push in from the bottom, and like so. That's back in. We'll put our uh, 10 millimeter fasteners in now. Not a hard job. Just patience and setting yourself up not to fail. Setting yourself up for success in the beginning. Make sure you got enough time. Make sure you have a good space to work in. Um, make sure that you know you're just not going to be rushed. And if you get agitated, stop. It is so easy to break any one of those little parts that if you're just not if your head's not in it then stop get your head back in it get back at it and then you want to just kind of i i'm not snugging these all the way down i'm just snugging them a little bit and then i will cross snug them because this has to sit in here just right or the erector set of all these other parts won't go back in and sometime, again, maybe this year, I'll finally uh, finish my stereo install that I 98% finished, you know, four and a half years ago. But I digress. Now we'll get this. 
and you don't have to crank these down like you know your life depends on it just snug all right now we're going to get our vents because our vents got to go in there and it's fairly obvious which side goes where i'm going to make sure you get that bottom one in as there you go because you want it in that bottom slip there so it gets snug snug and flush same thing here you want that fully into the oh, sorry that fully into there and get it up you want it just under this lip right here get it up and get that seated now we can put this on and these uh, wire harnesses just clip in they're really simple like every other harness come da as I say that and this takes really long time and then you just line these up uh, yeah and shove and boom center consoles back together now I've got to figure out a way to test this so you can see it we're gonna do that right now we replaced our uh, light bulbs and we're doing a little functional test here in a semi dark garage Oh yeah, those backlight really well. Yeah, there's the uh, rear defroster, rear HVAC control, side view mirror uh, defroster, and our blank. And yeah, and let's dim them down, dim them up. Oh yeah, that's really, oh yeah, perfect. Man, nothing like when you actually fix something properly. And with a whole bunch of patience and a little bit of luck, that was changing out your rear defroster, rear AC, side view mirror defroster, backlight lights. <laughs> I'm no better than you. I can do it, you can do it. Again, patience, set yourself up for success. Take your time. Don't, don't say, hey, I've got three hours, let me get into this. It took me, with filming, obviously takes me a while, it took me about three hours. You can do it in less time. You might do it in more time. Who cares? Set yourself up for success. I set, I blocked off like nine hours for this. So I'm going to be done and great and do some other things. And it's a great day. It's just key. I'll be able to keep moving, keep doing some other things. But just do your best for yourself in trying to make sure you have a successful outcome. Anyway, thanks for watching Maintainer's Garage. Hopefully this helped you. Have a great day.